There are three ways to survive in a ruined world. Now I've forgotten a few, but one thing is certain. The fact that you who are reading this now will survive. A web novel platform filled the screen of my old smartphone. I scrolled down and then up again. How many times have I been doing this? Really? Is this the end? I looked again and the complete was unmistakable. The story was over. Three Ways to Survive in a Ruined World was a feature-length fantasy novel by TLS 123 with 3,149 chapters. Its short name was Ways of Survival. I have been steadily reading this novel since the third year of middle school. During the time I was bullied by Ibtons, when I ruined my entrance examinations and had to enter a local university, when the damn random draw went wrong and I was placed in a military unit at the forefront, when I repeatedly switched jobs and am now working as a contractor for an affiliate of a large company. Damn. Let's stop talking about this. Anyway, author's words. Thank you so much for reading Ways of Survival up to here. I will come back to you with an epilogue. Ah, the epilogue still remains. Then the next chapter really is the last one. From the end of childhood to adulthood, it had been done over a huge period of ten years. There was a mixture of despondency that a world was coming to an end, along with a sense of satisfaction. I opened the comment box of the last message and rewrote the sentence several times. Kim Dokja. Writer, thank you for everything in the meantime. I'm looking forward to the epilogue. They were sincere sentences. Ways of Survival was my life's novel. It wasn't the most popular, but it was the best novel for me. There were many words I wanted to say, but I couldn't write them. I was afraid my carelessness words could hurt the writer. An average of 1.9 hits per chapter. An average of 1.08 comments. This was the average popularity index of Ways of Survival. The number of views for the first chapter was 1,200, but it fell to 120 for the 10th chapter, and then 12 by the 50th. By the time it was the 100th chapter, it was only one. I was overwhelmed by the feeling I got when I saw the numerous ones that appeared next to the list of chapters. In some cases, there was a two, but it was most likely someone pressing the wrong button. Thank you. The author published a novel with more than 3,000 chapters with just one hit per chapter over a period of 10 years. It was truly a story just for me. I pressed on the recommendation board and immediately started tapping on the keyboard. I am recommending a Honey Jam novel. The author wrote me a free completed novel, so I should give him a recommendation. I clicked on the complete button and the comments quickly appeared. Looks like a new anti. I searched for this person's ID and they recommended the same novel several times. Isn't his recommendation banned? The author shouldn't do this here. It occurred to me that I had written a recommendation several months ago. In an instant, there were dozens of comments for an investigation by spectators. My face flushed with embarrassment. I was sure the author would read this, so I hurriedly tried to delete the message, but it was already reported that the message couldn't be removed. This... It was upsetting to think that the recommendation written with all my sincerity turned out like this. If they even looked a little bit, why didn't anyone try reading this interesting novel? I wanted to give a donation to the writer but I couldn't afford it because I was a salary worker barely able to make a living. Then I received a notification that a message had arrived. TLS123. Thank you. A message flew in from out of nowhere. It took me a while to grasp the situation. Kim Dokcha. The author? TLS123 was the author of Wales of Survival. TLS123. I was able to complete it to the end thanks to you. I also won a competition. I couldn't believe it. Ways of Survival won a competition? Kim Dokja. Congratulations! What is the competition? TLS123. You won't know it because it's an unknown competition. I wondered if he lied because he was ashamed, but I wanted it to be true. Perhaps I really didn't know. It might be a big hit on other platforms. I was a little sad, but it was good to have an excellent story spreading. TLS123. I would like to send a special gift to you as a thank you. Kim Dokja. Gift? TLS123. It is thanks to my dear reader that this story has come into the world. I gave the writer my email address as he asked. TLS123. All right, I got the monetization schedule. Kim Dokja. Wow, really? When will it start? This masterpiece should have been a paid from the beginning. It was a lie. The Ways of Survival was a daily series, so I would have to spend 3001 a month. 3001 was a one convenience store lunch for me. TLS123. The monetization starts tomorrow. Kim Dokja. Then the epilogue coming out tomorrow will be paid? TLS123. Yes, I'm afraid you need to pay for it. Kim Dokja. Of course, I have to pay. I will buy the last one. There was no reply from the author afterward. I logged out of the site, and then I felt the pessimism sink in later. The author left without a reply after he succeeded? 
My admiration turned into petty jealousy. What was I so excited for? And in a case it wasn't my novel. Will it give me a gift certificate? It would be good if it was for 50,000 won. At that time, I was thinking naively. I didn't know anything that would happen to the world the next day.